What is up, everybody? Let's get into some Siege on this glorious Siege Sunday. All right. Uh, right now, we are going against Brannigan Law. Uh, the order that we're attacking in is going to be Disguised, Rich, Athletic, Drunk, and then Armed. So Disguised, we're hitting first. You can see that our team is out there getting it. Uh, also, later on in the video, we are going to get us a new Mythic card because... We did end up in the top 1,000 in the Fresh Snow Clash. So we got that 100 uh, of the Object Stones. And that is going to put us above the 1,000 that you need in order to get a new object. So we're going to get a new Mythic today. That's right. We're getting one together. And it's going to be awesome. All right. So look at that. We got all that stuff there. Got all our good stuff here. All right. Get these boxes popped open real quick. We'll buy us a new, um, get us a new card because we got our golden turds too. We got 1100 of those. So we're going to have a lot of fun today. We got a lot of stuff to do. Look at that. Mythic Object Stone. Fan. Freaking tastic. All right. Let's get into some siege. Let's get these knocked out. Going for that perfect thousand. I am defending an addicted island. So I got that set there. Going into Disguise, let me make sure I got my Disguise deck here. Fantastic. Uh, we don't need to get that Golden Turd box right now because the Golden Turds are going to be a Rich card. And we don't need any Rich cards for this um, Disguise deck here. Unless, of course, it was like an Amy or something. And then we need to be able to Quad Fuse her because she's... Oh, she's already Quad Fused, so we're still good. All right, so we got 25 total cards. 140 out of 140 researched. And let's go do it. Attack. Attack! All right, Ross, 270888 for Brannigan Law. They sent out that toy card. What That new toy uh, trait is pretty awesome, right? Got a new trait, man. That's pretty cool. Excited about that. Disco Hank. Dragon costume. Male Leela. Male Leela is the most fun to look at. Just because she looks uh, absolutely horrible. So <laughs> that'll be the one we'll play. All right, we want to make sure that we can try to heal these cards up. That way we can get that perfect thousand score. So we're going to throw out the one that has the highest heal. 25 Helios for slot one. Let's get another disguise out in slot three. Our cards are at 100% right now. So this could finish with a perfect hundo and that should be it. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm thinking of Rumble. How dumb. This is Siege. Siege, you can only get 100 points. Oh my gosh, this guy. Look at this dude. No idea what he's talking about. All right. Pin it away. So it doesn't matter. We don't have to worry about healing up because this is only a siege. And if you win, you get 10 points regardless. So it really does not matter what you play. Um, or you could have one health left and you still get the 10 points. It's no big deal. So we don't have to focus on that. We can just kind of rock these out and make this happen. They're throwing out that Tina there. Look at Warhorse, man. The Zap Brannigan combo, Zap being a new card, the stuff they've thrown out for him is, is pretty awesome, man. They are not wasting any time making him a, a card to, to be feared, you know? So Kong is uh, investing a lot into Zap, making him good. All right, so we are, we are matched up. We made sure that we kept following them out. That way we could um, see exactly what was going to happen and not take any damage for no reason. This bender is a level 10, which isn't, you know, too exciting, but it's still something we got to respect from Pinaway. All right, and then now we can combo up Shrimp Dress. Let's go ahead and do Cute Witch. Cute Witch has a big leech. It's got a big cripple, and it's got a big heal. So it's going out, and that is the dub for the 10, not the 100. There it is. 10 points and 10 turds. All right. Let's keep hitting them. Let's keep on getting it. All right. Joe Mama 96. What up, Joe Mama 96? Get this rocking. Get the Borax kid out there. Flower Boy's going out in slot three. It's got that enlarged. So you want enemy cards to be out there to get the best effect. A Cigarette Addicts comes out in slot two. It's not something you can play around with. Let's see if we have a hijack. 
We do. Cupid Bobby is going to go against Cigarette Addicts because his hijack, that 15 hijack, is going to steal all the craze. So Cigarette Addicts is not going to be able to increase its attack because we're going to steal it all. So that's why I put that one out there. Uh, Nun Peggy, by far one of the best disguise cards out there. Uh, I'd like to get a two for one here. So we'll knock out slot one and slot two with this hit because she's going to bomb for 30. It's really good to have a Nun Peggy like in a slot two because she's going to bomb slots one and three right so in slot one she's only going to hit slot two for that bomb but knocking cigarette addicts out of there is going to be good and anytime i can knock out multiple cards in one turn I'm, I'm looking for that another leon patar comes out that's an addicted card so they might have more cigarette addicts coming out for us but with how our deck is set up right now we're looking pretty good against it all right ko'd it before it even got a chance to combo and this is going to be the dub right here Joe Mama 96 salute to you. Okay. Next battle. Let's keep hitting them. All right. 45Y, 4Y2. 45E, 4E2. I don't know if there's a different way to read that. Flower Boys. Let's do Borax Kid in slot two. Hmm. I don't have any more disguised cards on deck. Let's throw out Hypnotoad. Speaking of mythic objects, that's a mythic object right there. Borax Kid in slot four. Man, they got five slots on us. Slot one is looking a little gross. We, we've got 12 health over there. It's not good. Slots two, three, and four I'm not worried about. It looks like we're going to knock out slot three with that Hypnotoad. Uh, the other one's not so much. I am going to go ahead and take the hit from there, Roger because I want to save my slot one. It's always best to protect slot one. I might be able to protect and make a difference. So if I do Dr. Bobenstein, it's a good card. Uh, if I do Peter, then I'm going to cripple for 10. So I'll cripple that Roger. But even if they combo that Roger, it's still going to hit us. Let's go ahead and do the one that's going to build on itself. Bobenstein will build on itself. So let's do that. We knew we were going to take a little bit of damage there. That's okay. And then we're going to put in Roger's Closet in slot 3 because 31 damage would be a lot. And we are going to take the win. Good match to you, my good sir. Alright, undefeated so far. We keep on hitting them. Edwolf. Edwolf. Good luck to you, Edwolf. Get my disguised card out there first. They throw out a Disco Bender, which is a disguised card. So we got to watch out for that. Uh, let's go ahead and do Fry and Robot Disguise. I like that card a lot. Big Leech, Big Sturdy, Big Craze. And they don't have a hijack on Disco Bender. So we're going to be able to build it up in slot 1. Love having builders in slot 1, man. Because the Craze can just get out of control and it's really awesome. Uh, let's protect our slot 1 by throwing this Zoidberg down so he can heal slot 1 with that 27 heal. And then we can get a slot 3 out there with Shrimp Dress getting that rocking. And then we'll throw Cute Witch out there to heal them both up. There it is, Ed Wolf. Good match to you. All right. Our last siege, we were like at 150. If we would have won that, I think it would have pushed us into the top 100. But we lost. We lost it. We fought well, though. I got to say, our, our, our team did really good in siege. So we, uh, we took a fair loss. And they got pumped up and we got dropped back over here to the threes. Which is alright. It's alright. You know, we'll get back there. We keep on building, keep on getting better every time. We'll get back over there. No worries. Alright. Uh Skiing Leela is a pretty good card. Devil Bobby is pretty awesome, but also Devil Hank is pretty awesome. Let's see who's better. 32 attack with a 25 punch is gonna put us at 57 hits coming out of there. This one's a builder. This one's not a builder, but I kind of like that 57. Gives us the opportunity to, uh, if he punches slot two, then we're going to knock out two cards with one. And I love that. Boom. Gone. Boom. Gone. Love it. And then we'll get uh, somebody else out here in slot two. She's going to heal, right? There we go. Cute witch will heal. There it is. Patrick. Good match to you, my dude. All right. Next one getting them in we got four attacks left let's go get it oh man we just we just faced this guy all right 
same person twice. There's only, you know, 10 per island, so, you know, you, you might face the same person multiple times instead of facing each person at a different time. I put Nun Peggy in slot 2 because, uh, because of that bomb, because, you know, she's going to do really good in slot 2. Okay, question out in slot 3. All right. Got that, got that win again against the uh, 4Y person. Edwolf again, all right. This is level 14 fry, nothing to, nothing to uh, not take serious here. This is a good, good opponent. Let's see, who's gonna be our best bet? I'm gonna go mail Amy here. Just cause of that punch and that attack I kinda like. Borax Kid, the dual fused one is gonna go out in slot two. The other one I only have a single fuse. Alright, I could motivate on that Oh, okay. Did not mean to play Sister Peter, but not too bad. And then Borax Kid will come out in three. There we go. That's a double a double uh, high five or a double fist bump or a double salute, because that's twice we had to play it. Ross, 270888. Alright, let's see here. Ski mask versus ski mask. Only mine is quad fused. And yours is a single. Okay. They turned that into a cowpoke. I have not seen that card. 1630 cheer all 11. Okay. And burn seven. So every card that is disguised, cowpoke is going to cheer for 11 more than their regular attack. It's a little scary, man. Cheer all 11. All right, let us put a builder here so we can try to take that cowpoke out. Okay, Tequila Roger in slot two, so not disguised. I'm going to put a Medieval Hank, Bodyguard, Heal, and Hijack there. And let's go ahead and throw out Hypnotoad in slot three. And then we'll get our Cigarette Addicts over there. And that'll be the dub. Ross, good match, my dude. Okay. One attack left. We've won all nine so far. Let's see if we get we got pin away again. This, I think this is one of the first guys we faced, if not the first. So we'll just go get it again. Alright. Get our builder in there. Would have been good to have a hijacker in there because she's a builder too, but um, I think we'll take her. Yeah. Alright. Medieval Hank going out. And that'll be it. 10 for 10. Perfect score there. Alrighty. Alright. Uh, well, that is the 10 for 10 on the Siege. So let's just take a look here. We got a few of our guys that have gotten a perfect hundo. Uh, Beezer, Sammy, Brian, Lucko all, all got hundreds. And we got some other guys. The, the Siege just started, so only 12 of us have attacked. Um, so far, we're looking pretty good. We're 13 away from taking out their Siege Island. And that's going to be pretty awesome. All right, we got a new subscriber, and that is David Okolo. David Okolo, what is up? Welcome to the sub club. We are glad that you are here. Um, let's get some more stuff opened up. All right, we got some deals. Let's see what else we get here. All right, 15 benders, not bad. Five more benders, okay, 20 benders. Getting our stuff here. All right. We, we could get a Mythic Bob here, which I don't have, which would be awesome for 25. Let's see. Nope. I do it every day. I do the 25 every day because you, you can earn about 20 gems a day. So I just do that. All right. It's time, guys. It's time for the Mythic Object Stone Reveal. Let's go get it. What are we hoping to get here? What are we hoping we're going to pull out of this box? Let's see. All right, we got another Hypnotoad, we got Bazooka Sharks, and we got Bro Beer. We just finished the Drunk BGE, and would have been great to have that for that, but it's going to be a while before that comes back around, right? And my Drunk deck is okay, um, but the Athletic, to have an Athletic Mythic card with this Bazooka Sharks, 
I think would be awesome because a lot of the athletic cards you have are really good. Now, don't get me wrong, 63 health on that bro beer is pretty great. That's no, nothing, nothing to laugh at. But the athletic combos that the game offers are pretty awesome. So if it came down to bro beer versus bazooka sharks for my personal deck and for my uh, athletic combos that I have, I am going to lean towards bazooka sharks even though the health isn't as high i know that the attack is higher here it's got motivated it's got punch this is more of an attack card as opposed to a defensive card right when you look at bro beer you've got bodyguard you've got shield you've got leech very much defensive uh but athletic very much on the attack so i am going to select the bazooka sharks oh it feels good it feels good just to see that getting that getting that mythic card rock in there Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. We got enough for a legendary card. Let's see what we get here. Professor Learner. That is by far one of the best educated cards out there. It's got a huge amount of health on it for some reason. It's a really good card there. There's a Boomhauer. I always love when these turn into legendaries. Let's see if we get a legendary here. Olive Attic. Nah, just, just some fodder. Fodder for the, uh, for the old recycling plant. It's all right. Let's go get our uh, Golden Turd card. Now, this is going to be a rich card, so let's see. Let's hope about Legendary, 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 Legendary. Country Club Steve. All right. Well, it is what it is. Okay. Well, we freaking got a Mythic, and that is what is up. Let's go craft that bad boy. Anytime you get a Mythic, you got to go in here, select the card, and you got to spend 5,000 Nixons to craft it. Craft it up. Yeah. Oh, that looks so cool. Take a little screenshot of that. That is so cool. I love the the way that they did all the graphics on these things. Um, and then let's go look at our new mythic. And let's see the combos we got with it. So it's got the Chris, Garbage Shot Linda. Look at all the, I've had a lot of combo masteries already with the Athletic. So for me and my deck, it already works out really well because then it just pumps everything up even more. Skiing Leela, Sewer Surfer Fry. These are all combo masteries. All right, these are the ones I don't have combo mastered. Let's see here. Okay, but such a Tina. I like that one. A lot of bodyguard on Cheerleader Peggy. Look at that bodyguard and motivate. If you're talking about defense, that's a defensive card right there. Touchball Steve. Pool Shark. Oh, that's such an awesome combo. 81 health, 37 punch, 23 attack, 25 hijack, 29 bodyguard. That's going to be a rock star. Swole Francine. Man, one of my favorites. 34 cripple on that one. 19 craze. Freezer Dome Louise. Look at that punch, guys. Look at that punch on Freezer Dome Louise. 55 punch? You, the card could be completely crippled out. It could have nothing going on for it. It could be on its last legs. 55 punch on Freezer Dome Louise. Golfing Hank, 25 punch, plus 28 of the cheer. Swimmer Dale, 21 cheer all. That's awesome. Softball Bill. Rodeo Bobby. I'm not a fan of Rodeo Bobby. I don't like that card. Uh, Bob said Hermes. Hermes, I never really ever see him played. But man, what a, look at these combos. We got some good ones here. Bazooka Sharks, for me, for my deck, definitely the right choice. Um, looking good. And then as we start to level it up, I just found out that you can level these bad boys up. And then all of a sudden, they look like they're dual fused. You don't actually get another mythic. You just keep leveling it up. And then it looks like it's quad fused. I can't even imagine having a card like this. Insanity insanity awesome but we got it now so we'll be able to add it to our deck and uh make things happen with it all right we got all that stuff done there got a new challenge out here get our rich deck put back in so we're not running the wrong deck out there fly through these yeah. 10 victories zero defeats all right, and that is it, man. We have done it all. We got some awesome cards. We got us a new mythic. We we won every single round in Siege. We are on our way to um, knocking out this disguised dial and hopefully getting the victory against Brannigan Law. You guys have joined the team. You are part of the sub club. Thank you so much for watching the videos, for loving the content, for subscribing. It means the world to me. I love making these videos for you guys. I love your feedback. I love your comments. Um, anything y'all say, it just it really it really means a lot. So thank you so much. Um, I hope that, that you're having a great day. Until next time, you guys keep on being awesome. 
and I'll see you then.